The use of tools and the development of technologies are among the characteristics that make up the human species. We have learned over thousands of years to use our hands and fine motor skills and to use tools to change and shape our world. Only a few thousand years have passed since humans began to create the first megaliths and stone structures on Earth, and today we have to learn again and again that humans of that time could not have been as primitive as we sometimes imagine. Technologies like electric current or computers are considered to be highly developed inventions of modern times, but here too, archaeology teaches us otherwise. It is absolutely possible that these inventions existed, albeit in simpler form, long before our time. We'll introduce you to 12 of these mysterious, ancient, or forgotten technologies right now. Before we get started, we'd like to invite you to support our work by subscribing to our channel, activating the notification bell, and giving us a thumbs up if you like the video. We'll now first look at an incredible and long-forgotten technology from India. 1. Stone Doors in Hampi The stone doors in Hampi are an impressive monument and a feat of engineering all in one. They were once part of one of the entrances to the royal complex at Hampi. It is a wonder how these massive gates of Vijayanagara Empire were made and moved about 1,000 years ago. Each one of these gates weighs several tons. The giants were moved purely mechanically. The locking and suspension mechanism was made out of metals and wood. The 59,000 square meter palace complex was protected by a double wall and had three entrances. Two of these entrances were located on the north side and one on the west side of the compound. Probably the gates belong to the western entrance. Today, they lie on the ground in the historic compound of Hampai. They are admired and still impressive relics of the kingdom's magnificent past. But hardly anyone today would realistically be able to put the gates back into operation. The technology and craftsmanship that operated the gates remains unique. 2. Baron Temple In Yemen, a strange-looking temple was excavated in the 1950s. Today, the site is known as Baron Temple or Throne of Bilquis. The temple, located near the present-day city of Marib, is attributed to the Kingdom of Saba. It was dedicated to the pre-Islamic god al makkah In addition to plazas and small buildings, the researchers uncovered five perfectly crafted stelae. The construction and geometric perfection were considered unique in the Arabian Peninsula. In 1988, another perfectly fitting stelae was found. Researchers also found evidence that the stele arrangement may have served an early form of information documentation. However, exactly how the technology worked is unknown. 3. Stoneworks of the Egyptians Already several thousand years before the birth of Christ, the ancient Egyptians created buildings that are still considered unique today. The wonder, however, is not only the buildings themselves, but how much more the technical way in which they were built. The master builders of that time were able to create geometrically perfect stone blocks with edges so smooth that every modern stonemason would turn green with envy. Yet these people could only have possessed the simplest of tools, such as hammers and chisels. The stone blocks of the pyramids are set so tightly in many places that no sheet of paper fits in the joints. Stones weighing several tons were supposedly pulled up by humans on simple wooden scaffolds with ropes and then perfectly fitted into place. It seems even more amazing that accidents never occurred in the process. If a block of stone had fallen down from the top steps, it would have damaged the stones below. It would have been almost impossible to dismantle the pyramids again to replace such stones. But it was also a fact that such accidents do not seem to have occurred. The people were perhaps also owing to so far unknown technologies in the stones perfectly fitting and absolutely error-free to pile up. 4. Archimedes Turbine The Archimedean screw, unlike the name suggests, was not invented by Archimedes. The technique is much older than its namesake. Archimedes was a mathematician and inventor in ancient Greece who saw the technology around 234 BC while traveling in Egypt and brought it to Greece. The screw was capable of pumping water from the Nile River even over high inclines, and Archimedes' screw may also have been the technology behind the famous Hanging Gardens of Babylon.
5. UFO Disc A Russian collector named Evgeny Adadrinov has all sorts of strange artifacts and sculptures in his possession. Among the most outstanding objects in his collection are this UFO-shaped stone sculpture with a small stone depicting a human being with an object in the shape of a flying saucer flying overhead. Where did these objects come from? Who created them? And whether they were part of some mysterious technology, the owner reportedly does not know. Some fans of the unusual therefore also doubted the authenticity of the objects, especially since this footage from previously unexplained sources suddenly appeared on the net. Even the existence of a man named Yevangi Adaranov could not be proven so far. 6. Bayan Complex The Bayan Complex in Russia's Tuva region is one of the most famous and fascinating archaeological spots in Russia. Translated, the name means something like mud house. The entire strictly square complex is located on a river island and is believed to have been laid out in the 9th century AD. Initially, researchers thought that the Bayan complex had been a palace or a fortress. However, archaeologists could not find any traces of human activity either inside the complex or in the surrounding area. It is possible that the complex was an uninhabited temple complex or that it belonged to a previously unknown technology. 7. Asuka In southern Japan, near the village of Asuka, people 250 to 550 AD created some stone sculptures that must have been part of an unknown technology. The main piece is an object 11 meters long, 8 meters wide, and 4.7 meters high, which was named Rock Ship. The monolith weighs about 800 tons and can hardly have moved from the spot. Thus, the object was certainly not intended for locomotion. In the wider area of the ship, there is another unique stone monument. Ishii no Hoden is today revered as the floating rock that comes from the sky, as a sanctuary. It is certain that this monolith was created by human hands through painstaking work. Again, the geometric structure of the site leads researchers to believe that it was part of a technology that we do not understand today. 8. Baghdad Battery Electricity was long considered an invention of modern times. Then, an archaeological discovery raised the question of whether electricity could have existed 2,000 years ago. In 1936, during excavations in the city of Kujat Rubah in what is now Iraq, an object was found that resembled a battery. The battery is a 14-centimeter clay vessel, which was closed with a copper cylinder and an iron rod. It was only many years after the discovery of the artifact that scientists came to the conclusion that this peculiar piece could have served to generate electricity. In testing, it was proven that several of these batteries, connected by a 1 centimeter protrusion, could produce a voltage of about 2 volts. Simple electrolytes, such as vinegar or fruit juice, were suitable for generating electricity. Another possibility is that the vessel was used for electroplating. However, this technique for improving the corrosion resistance of metals was supposedly invented in the 18th century. 9. Mechanical Monk A truly curious piece of ancient technologies is the Mechanical Monk. This figure, built in the 16th century by a Spaniard named Juanelo Taranio, represents the saint and miracle worker Diego de Alcala. The figure was a gift to the Spanish king, who had been a great admirer of Alcala. The mechanical monk can move around, raise his hands in the prayer position, and move his head. The figure, which still works perfectly today, can be admired in a museum in Spain. 10. Hand Grenade If you think the hand grenade is also an invention of modern times, you are wrong. Prototypes of the hand grenade were already in use in the 6th century BC. At that time, the Greeks invented a war technique known as Greek fire. However, the model shown in the picture is much younger and dates back to the 14th century. The stone grenade was filled with a highly flammable liquid such as alcohol. When lit, the soldiers threw the grenade into the enemy ranks or even into civilian facilities. Since wood, straw, and easily combustible materials were ubiquitous at the time, grenades fired in large quantities quickly ignited wide areas.
It is also possible that warring parties spread liquids such as pitch or oil near enemy lines before firing and then ignited it with the shells. 11. Map from the 16th century This map by the famous Ottoman navigator Piri Reis is one of the oldest known nautical maps of mankind. It was made around 1513 and shows the known world at the time, or rather the parts of the sea that were sailed by Admiral Reis. Today, the unique piece is exhibited in the Topkapi Palace in Istanbul and is one of UNESCO's strictly protected world document heritages. But that is far from the most exciting thing about this map. Piri Reis traced its route across Europe to South America and on to Antarctica. Antarctica was supposedly discovered only in the 19th century and the map of the Ottoman shows the continent without any ice at all. 12. Zangta Temple From a distance, it looks like there is an airy temple on this bizarre rock formation near the Chinese town of Zangta. On closer inspection, however, this temple turns out to be a twin temple on a twin mountain. The structure resembles the twin temples on Fanjingashan Mountain, also located in China. Both temples are marvels of architecture and must have been built with ancient technology that only amazes today's builders. Experts assume that the stone blocks were wrapped in large bamboo scaffolds for the construction work or that the components were brought up by a rope hoist in incredibly painstaking work and processed there. For us today, it is truly difficult to comprehend what construction work of this kind looked like hundreds or thousands of years ago. We would love to know with which technologies and tricks people worked. Artifacts like the Baghdad battery show that we should not underestimate the technologies of past civilizations. Perhaps civilizations like the Egyptians on the Nile or ancient Chinese builders had mysterious technologies that we don't know about today. At the end of the video, tell us what you think about these findings and the technological capabilities of our ancestors. Do you also think that ancient civilizations might have had mysterious technologies, and if so, what might they have looked like? We are looking forward to your opinion and your personal assessment. As always, use the comments. Thanks for watching and see you next time at Hidden Worlds.